Hey guys, King Gath here with Bethesda Mod School. This is going to be a quick tip. I'm just going to answer a direct question as you see in my title. So the issue we're addressing here is that you've got a sound file that isn't working for some reason for your users. Works fine on your computer, but players are reporting that it doesn't work in your mod. And the issue is almost always the same. It's that you manually package up your sound files in Archive 2 and you failed to turn off compression. So uh, one of the solutions that has been suggested I've seen on forums and other places is that you've got to uncompress your entire archive and that's not actually true. What I've found is what you, all you have to do is delete all of your sound files out of your archive. So let's imagine this is a actual BA2 file. In this case, I've just, I've just got archive two open with one sound file prepared to save in a BA2. But if you had your archive open, you would just search up all your sound files and delete them. So you just select each one, hit delete and say yes. And you can select, you can group select and hold control and select all of them and just delete them. Or you can search for dot wave or dot XWM, whatever you need to do to bring up all your sound files in your archive, select them and remove them. Next, you're going to go to archive settings. You're going to change the compression to none, hit OK, and then add those sound files back in. So now when we save this, what it does is when compression is set in Archive 2, it only affects files added after that point. So it won't go back and re-archive -re all of your other files. Instead, it will just store these new files because we deleted and re-added them. It'll store those uncompressed. So now your sound files will be uncompressed and they will function in the game and you'll be able to re-release your mod as a patch and have that be fixed. So this is, that's it. That's all there is to it. It's real simple, but it's something I forget all the time. And then I drive myself nuts trying to remember why it is these sound files aren't working and it's always this. Now, if you guys package your mods using the creation kit and allow it to handle things, it will, it will take care of this automatically. You won't run into this issue. This issue seems to be exclusively for those of us who package our stuff manually. Now I could be mistaken on that. So if you, if you do let the creation kit package your mod, and you still have that issue where the sound files are being reported as not functioning, try this out, see if it'll work. Because using Archive 2 manually is the way I recommend. It avoids the issue where the creation kit adds too many files and you have tight control over what exactly you're putting into your mod this way. So guys, this is a new form of Bethesda Mod School tutorial. I'm gonna do these periodically as common issues come up, especially little niche ones that would be very hard to find an answer otherwise. I have covered this specific issue before, but I know it was in the midst of like an hour long tutorial where I covered a lot of other things and it might've been hard for people to actually find that piece of information. And as I stumble upon more things like this while I'm building tutorials or while I'm just working on my mods, expect little micro tutorials like this to come up so that people who are searching for problems can find an answer quickly. Uh, so any type of, uh, of this is going to be a way I help to combat, combat common tribal knowledge for these really niche issues. So if you've got a common problem or maybe not, you don't know if it's common, you have a problem with a mod you're working on and you want to see if I can help you out, feel free to post in the comments of any of my Bethesda Mod School videos. I will uh, always respond to those comments and try and help you right there. And then if I can't, I will point you to a resource where you can get some help. And then I will probably use some of those questions to generate more of these little micro tutorials. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.